Uh, you're standing at CASA Centre. We have a gym where kids come and specialized services are provided by professionals for kids who are struggling with mental illness. Honestly, I feel like I feel a lot of emotions, mostly just super proud. I always say I was very proud of Colby when he was still alive, but the legacy he's left behind makes me a trillion times more proud, if that's possible. Um, so yeah, it's emotional every time I look at it, for sure. I feel like Colby was such an amazing role model um, to anyone that he met, whether it was a teammate or a stranger or a family member or a friend. Um, we had the daily motto, be somebody that makes everybody feel like a somebody. So I hope kids can be inspired to be like that as well and also just be reminded uh, that they're not alone in their struggles. Mental health was extremely important to me and Colby. Um, like I said, our motto is be somebody that makes everybody feel like a somebody. So I never want the kiddos here or any of the kiddos and Colby's kids to ever feel alone. So uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor for sure. So when Colby passed away, we, the memorial fund started, we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do, uh, where we wanted to contribute, and when I met with Cass, I just felt like it was a perfect fit. I loved the mission and what they were doing here. I think Colby would really love it as well. So uh, yeah, we chose Casa and then started Colby's Kids here. My favorite part is the three hearts under agape. Uh, so Colby and I, before we went to bed every night, he would squeeze my hand three times to say that he loved me. We'd do it in the grocery store, in the car, anywhere. And um, when Colby passed away, it was during COVID, so I couldn't be there with him. So his ICU nurse um, was actually squeezing his hand three times um, as he was dying, so he felt like I was there with him. So the three hearts for the three hand squeezes is probably my favorite. And the red hair, because we both have red hair, <laughs> I would say are my two, two favorites for sure. <laughs> so reached out to me back in September to create this large mural to kind of pay tribute to Kobe and kind of everything that he stood for, for the Oilers, for the Bruins, and for the hockey community as, you know, as a whole. So the whole idea was to showcase him as a player and as a person and to kind of have symbols and references that best showcase you know, who he was. So me and Emily kind of brainstormed some concepts, uh, some ideas of images to showcase of him, um, some meaningful references such as agapi, which means the highest form of love, uh, and a few of the jersey references to the organizations he's played with. The uh, Kobe's Kids logo is there too, to kind of showcase um, his involvement with the community and how much he gave back. But yeah, just, uh, the whole idea with, with the mural was to sh you know, have it be a, just a large tribute to Kobe um, as the player and the person that he was.